Hello and welcome to the Walk in Love podcast. I'm TJ. And I'm Brooke. And today we're going to talk about the difference between good and comfortable. Thank you for listening. Thank you for making us a part of your week. The Walk in Love podcast is a weekly conversation between Brooke and I. It's a place where we laugh and sometimes cry as we try to find language to live a full life. And if you like your listening, to line up with your living. You are in the right place. Right place, baby. And <laughs> we got stuff to talk about today. Okay. I don't know what it is. Oh, I was going to say me neither. But I, I was know just going to follow. It's stuff. <laughs> I was going to follow your lead, um, babe. Let me let me start off with a few quick announcements. Okay. Announcement 1, we have the June made to order collection launching next Monday. So one, right. if you're listening on Monday, one week from today, June 3rd, I believe. I think the 3rd is right. Uh, first Monday of the month. Mm-hmm. And four goodies of a t-shirt, t-shirts. Yeah. Might be our best made-to-order collection yet. Whoa. Um, well, if I look at those, those are all really solid. Yeah, so there's a, there's three vintage you talk, washi tees. You want me to pick them up? Sure. Is that why yeah, they're yeah. there? Or well, it's just also just forget. so we don't forget what's on them. Okay. Well, if you uh, happen to be watching on YouTube, you can see these. On the YouTubes. YouTubes. Somebody call YouTube. Get them down. Get here. them down here. Let's see if they can record this. Okay. First up, as uh, the lovely Brooke is holding, is a vintage wash mermaid colored walk and love tee with a like a little bit smaller of a walk and love print on this pink. You're doing a great job. I really like that. The podcast audience is gonna love hearing me talk about you twirling the shirt. Whoa, fire! Um, <laughs> two batons. No, I'm just kidding. We wish. That's the dream. That's the dream. So that's the first one. The next one is another vintage wash tee. It says "Peace be still." When Jesus spoke to the storm and said, peace, be still. So it's got this cute little smiley face, peace sign giving thing and some checkers. Really, really pretty wow. design. This one is something something that we've never, ever done before. Um, it Whatever. says, consider the wildflowers, but it looks like the flowers are actually laying on the shirt. There's like a shadow behind them. And so it looks like if it was just laying there, you'd be like, are those flowers laying on that shirt? Or is that a print? A bit, yeah. uh, which is Switch. really, really cool. Super stoked about that one. Ivory tea, another ivory tea for Brooke. And then this one I'm actually most excited about. Now, I know our audience is primarily female, but I know that a lot of that audience is married to men. Um, And so we made a shirt for men. On the front, it says, stay alert. Mm -hmm. And on the back, it says, stay alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, Uh, which I just feel very... First Corinthians. Yeah, I just feel like it's such a verse for the time uh, that we're living in. The world needs strong men. The world needs godly men. The world needs men to step up and be good leaders in their families and in their communities and their workspaces. And uh, we've kind of gotten away from that. Uh, Men have been sort of beaten down and told that they're misogynist bigots all the time because they want to step into the role that God has for them. And it, and it's weird. Like, even as I'm saying this, I feel like I have to give a disclaimer that it's like women can be strong too. Like, yeah, you know, but like, no, like I'm not going to give a disclaimer because that is from the word of God. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be living out that verse. And so I'm super stoked about that shirt specifically. So ladies, June 3rd through the 8th, 6th, 9th, 12th, somewhere in there, (laughs) seven days, whatever seven days after the third is, which (laughs) is the 10th, 10th. Well, yeah. depends on what depends we post. On, yeah. yeah, I've heard it both ways. Um, ladies, grab that shirt for your husband. Encourage them yeah. to. Be It'd a, be a really good Father's Day gift. Uh, you know, like it's pre-order, yeah. so they won't have it for Father's yeah. Day. But if you were like, I don't know what to get him, you know, it's a good one. I'm super stoked. I think so that would be We're really talk good. about it today. Um, so yeah, so those all come out next week. Very excited about those. Uh, first Monday through the first Sunday of every month, uh, and then they're gone. So. Mm-hmm. It's great. We'll, we'll share a discount code with the podcast. Um, I think that's the only bit of news I have on that front. Yeah. Uh, the other bit of news that I have is we have five spots left for Dads on Maui. Yeah. So four booked. We got five left. If you missed last week, I kind of talked about it last week, but I'll just tell you again. Uh, I'm doing a mom's, I'm, I'm stealing Brooke's idea, which I actually gave to her for Moms on Maui, and I'm making it my own, and I'm calling it Dads on Maui. Yeah. So it's different. It's yeah. like instead of women coming, right, men are going to come to Maui. Yeah, and instead of like massages and gift bags, it's right. going to be like meat and laughter. cliff jumping. 
Yeah. yeah and maybe some cliff jumping mi- mixed in there. Um, <laughs> but I do believe that there will probably be more laughter that week. Um, then maybe any week in your life, I'm going to say that statement because Brad Ellis from Ellis Custom Creations will be joining me. Um, <laughs> someone like I, I feel like I'm a pretty witty person. Like I'm usually like, you're quick. I'm quick. I, I've got a joke ready almost in all scenarios. There's not many people that I feel like match my wits yeah. in terms of that. They sort can of, keep up or, can keep or up. maybe go a little faster. Maybe go, go a little faster. Brad Ellis is one of those people. Yeah. Uh, I assume Vince Vaughn is another one of those people. I just <laughs> haven't, had the, haven't had the opportunity <laughs> to be with him uh, yet. Um, and then Matt Kark, Mark Kark is also another one of those guys. But Brad will be with us at Dad's on Maui. Yeah. Kind of helping me out, being my partner like in crime and uh, I'm so excited. I know. Like I say it every time. I wish I could come. Yeah. So we got five spots left. If by left. chance I don't leave Island, I will be finding ways to just, just you know. snooping on hey, us. What do you, I just yeah. saw your location was here. Oh, weird. So I'm sure here too. Okay. Um, I would love that. As long as I bring food every time, yeah. I feel like it will be You're, accepted. If you bring in like pastries or meat or something I was just like going to say, if I show up with donuts, yeah. I feel like no one will be No mad. one will care. <laughs> um, so super stoked about that. Details in the show notes if you guys want to sign up. It is in October, mm-hmm. so there's plenty of time to save for it. Yeah. Plenty of time to sign up for a credit card, get the bonus Hey-o. miles. That's a great idea, actually. Because like most credit cards, like get ninety thousand bonus miles if you use it for if you, you spend, spend five thousand dollars in the first, in the first months. three months. Yeah, and then you use those bonus miles to book your ticket. So then your yeah. ticket is free. Obviously, I'm not encouraging credit card debt. I'm Obviously. encouraging credit card rewards. Yeah. So you use it, you pay it off, you get the rewards. Yeah. Um, and we've done that many a time yeah. to buy tickets. Well, buy tickets, they're free. Yeah. Quote unquote, buy yeah. tickets. That's yeah. how we moved here. We just pay for life. And yeah. Then. And then we we're like, all right, now this credit card just lives in on my desk. Yeah. <laughs> Never yeah. to be used again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a great credit score, by the way. I just wanted to throw that out there. Do you actually, I do. You don't yeah. need to say it, but yeah, you actually do know what it we is. We have a great credit score. Really? Yeah. Good job. Aw. We did it. We're doing one thing right financially. <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> If you don't understand that reference, go back two episode. weeks ago, blank is not my provider. We'll fill you in <laughs> on the current butt clenching scenario that Brooke and I find ourselves in that we're just like, I honestly feel since having that conversation, which that was like the word that the Lord gave me. It was like, be honest. Mm-hmm. I have felt so much freedom. D- granted, there are like moments of extreme stress and just like. Like today when I told you what cereal is $10. Yeah. Where I'm just like, gosh, there's this great video. I'm going to find it. There's this video of this little British girl who just bought ice cream for nine, nine bloody quid. <laughs> Whoa. And she is. Whoa, T. And she is fired she up. She is. She's ticked. She's ticked about how expensive it, it is. And I was like, this is me every time we leave Costco. Yeah. <laughs> just like. She's hysterical. It's just kind of hard to understand because her accent yeah. is so strong. I feel like back alley Brooke, <laughs> that's, that would have been how I would have sounded as a kid is back yeah. alley Brooke. But and like in the Newsies era. Yes. yes. Much dirtier. And then you get to the end and she's like, he ain't going to get away with that. <laughs> I was going to get him nowhere. She's like so mad. It's awesome. Um, anyway. Anyway. Yes. You were saying you feel a lot better. I feel a lot better since that conversation. Obviously, nothing's really changed from from a financial perspective. No. But I just feel like the Lord, like, he gives you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Like, and so we're just walking in faith. We're trying to be as smart as we can, uh, make the best decisions that we can, and just trust in him that he will provide. And if you find yourself in a similar scenario, if you're really connected two weeks ago, which a lot of you did and messaged us, um, like, I just pray the same for you. I pray that like, we just like find that perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. We steward our talents well. Yeah. And we, we just wait for the Lord to show up and that might be quick. That might be yeah. two years from now. That might be 10 years, like whatever. And we just like steward what we have well and honor him with it and bring glory to him with it. And try not to look to the left and the right of like whatever, like all the other talents that people have. Mm. Um, or all the other like, you know, financial blessing that people might have and just like trust the Lord, lean on him. And I've found like so much peace and um, honestly, like fire, like, Mm, uh, you know, just like I feel like fired up again for the Lord. And so, um, yeah, it's just been really good. So, yeah. I was going to share my little thing. Yeah, go for it. Do it. It's not really that long. It's a big thing. I feel like it's a big thing. The verse thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like that'll rattle. I was like, what 
big thing. No, I got I so like, panicked <laughs> that it was a bigger thing. No, I just. We I mean, were it's like, like a short nugget, we were like, but oh, I feel like we it's could like save it for its whole episode. But I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna talk just it in do there because I feel like it's it's more tied into the episode from two weeks ago. So let's let's keep going there. So I saw this reel, and if y'all have seen, which is this, an Instagram thing, right? Yes, if you have seen this <laughs> and you know who this is, it was some a Christian author speaker. I've n- I don't know her face. Okay. I didn't know her name. Okay. So I don't know who to give credit to because I don't okay. know who she was, but if y'all see this, you can send it to us and say, here it is. I found it. Cause I will reshare it. Okay. So anyway, I was shown it. I get shown a lot of stuff because Kim will find it because on like a lot of our accounts, <laughs> we don't follow a lot of people. So Instagram is just like throwing things yeah. at me all the time. If I log I. into my e. personal account, I E Sandcastle videos. Okay, y'all, I watched one <laughs> Sandcastle video in blank. I watched the whole thing because I was like, I want to know what this is going to look Start like. To finish. And literally three swipes down, the algorithm was like, like oh, oh, this girl loves Sandcastles. She is into <laughs> Sandcastles. And I'm like, well, I don't hate it. Rollerblades are dead. <laughs> Sandcastles are king. <laughs> I don't hate it. I think I could get real into that. I did take multiple sculpture classes in wow. life. Anyway. It's this lady. She's sitting on a stool. She's talking to this, okay. talking to the if camera. If you can find stool lady, send it to Brooke. Yes. She's like kind of blondish hair. Okay. She was talking about recently losing a spouse. So I don't know if anybody, I know it's okay. a big deal. Um, I don't know if anybody's like, oh, oh I know that, that author is. did yeah. or this speaker did. Yeah. Like, I don't know who she was. Um, and I t- didn't click to watch any more videos. I was on to sandcastles. But <laughs> she was talking about the verse in Romans. Isn't, Rom- doesn't, uh, isn't there like a song... One of those sitcom sandcastles in the sand. Yeah, that's that's that, uh, uh, Robin, Robin Sparkles. Shabatsky. Robin Sparkles' second yes, song. Yes, that's her second hit. <laughs> and it's like all like daydreamy and you know like um bad nineties like VHS yes. style music yeah. video. Anyways, okay. Okay, so the verse is Romans eight twenty eight, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him. That's Preach. just the first part, you it's know, word of who have been called according to his purpose. But she was really talking about that first part. Mm. And so she was saying, and we know that in all things. And so again, I'm not taking credit for this. I'm just repeating what I watched yep. from her, which was, she was like, what's your thing? Like, what is it right now today in this season? She's like, we all have a lot of things and they yep. change, but like, what is your thing right now? And she was saying that her thing is grief. Yeah. Like that is her thing right now. The loss Obviously. of a spouse, grief. Yeah. And so I'm watching and I'm like, oh, my thing is probably our finances. Yeah. Like our financial situation. The fear around our financial situation yes. that has come come yes. somewhat abruptly. Right. Yeah. And so she was like, I want you to think about it. I want you to name it. Pick something specific as mm-hmm. your thing. And then she continued to say, God works for the good of those who love him. And then she was talking about how, I don't know if she said in America, but I, I would add that like, I think it, like in, in the West, our like Western it, culture, yeah, modern um, culture, yeah. you know, maybe everywhere else too. She's like, but we have confused the word good for the word comfortable or comfort. And that is th- like, we are doing a disservice to ourselves. Mm. And that is also not what it says. Yeah. It's not what it says. In it's the not word what God. it says. Yeah. And so she was saying, if you think that he's going to work all things for the comfort of those who love him. Like, yeah, that'll that's con- not, that'll that's, convict you right that's not what it says. Yeah. And that's what I realized. Like, as I was watching it, yeah. thinking about my thing, I was like, Ooh, yeah. Now I don't always confuse the two words. I don't always swap them out, but when it's my thing, specifically, I do. When your thing, specifically yeah. with whatever thing you're thinking about, yeah. like it is, I, that's what I, if I can be super honest and transparent, that's what I want. Yeah. Like, I want the financial want situation the financial, to be comfortable. Yes. I'm like, 100%. I want a hundred percent. That's what I want. But working it all together for the good, I'm like, there are so many good things in my life that are not actually all that comfortable. Like, I already know that to be true, right. that they don't necessarily equal each other. But I just like, and again, and then I was like, wow, that'll get you. And I like swiped onto the next yeah. thing, whatever I was doing. But I haven't stopped thinking about it. That'll really get you. And I would assume there's, she probably has more videos about it. Like it looked like it was maybe part of like a series or something, yeah. but I just like, yeah, I share that as just like an encouragement slash a reminder of, cause in the end, do I, like, if I ask the question, do I want a comfortable life? There's like this little side, this little, and not like the angel devil on your shoulder thing, but there's like yeah. one side of me immediately that's like, uh, duh. Yeah. Everybody that does. sounds fantastic. That sounds Are great. you kidding me right now? Yeah. Like, yes, that is what I want. 
And then even okay. in my own life, I think about all the things I've done, we've done, friends have done that are not necessarily comfortable, but they are so good. Mm. And they like, it wasn't comfortable to pick up everything and move here. It's not comfortable to be pregnant and have kids. It's not comfortable to like, I'm like, but it is so good. Right. And it's so, not always comfortable to be married. Yeah. Like it's yeah. not always comfortable to be a parent. It's yeah. not always comfortable. Like I could say that about anything. There's discomfort on both sides. We talk about that all the time. And so I was just really like convicted, I guess is the word, but that sounds like so intense. It was like a convicted <laughs> reminder. Classic rock. No, I know that. Well, <laughs> I just feel like there have been other things in life I've had a way stronger conviction okay. over. Okay. But I guess that's kind of the word. It was more of like a realization of like, oh, I, I'm doing that. Yeah. In certain areas of life, I'm doing that. And I don't want to do that. So this is a good reminder to not do that. Yeah. And when I find myself praying prayers out of comfort or, or whatever. Yeah, there just, was a, there was a know. book. I, I, I don't know the title of it. I just know that. <laughs> I don't know who wrote it. You guys can find it's it for me. It's probably the same lady. No, it's, it was about, um, it was like a secular book. It wasn't a Christian book, but it was some of the guys in integrated have talked about it of just like this book that basically talks about how like the premise is like we go from our air conditioned house into our air conditioned car, oh, drive yeah. to our air conditioned office, mm. eat our lunch in air conditioning, get back in our air conditioned car, yeah, drive back to our air conditioned house yeah. and go to sleep in air conditioning. Yeah. That's the premise of the book that like culturally we do not do our life is not challenging like yeah. it once was. Like we, we don't we, do discomfort We started well. watching, I started watching this show. It's my weekend show on Friday and Saturday is my rule. I can stay up as late as I want. Last night I made it to 10, 20. <laughs> you were I asleep was, though for part of it. Yeah, I did fall asleep probably around 10. <laughs> and I woke up at 10, 20. I was like, rock on. <laughs> um, and uh, it's this show. I just started watch one and I've watched two episodes it's called Shogun. I don't know how historically accurate it, but it's like 1600s Japan. Yeah. And I just like watch it and I'm like, gosh, I would have died. <laughs> I, I just, I'd be dead. Yeah. Like it's so dirty. Mm -hmm. Everyone's fighting with swords. It's like the Oregon Trail. Like, yeah. And it's it just like, you. you know, there is an element of like comfort, like comfort yeah, is I mean, so we, second nature to, to 100%. everybody that lives and in And I'm not complaining. I'm not no. like, oh, I want a harder life. Yeah. I, I don't want to really. poop in a hole. I've done that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> But it's true. You think about the air conditioning or you think about like everything is convenience and yeah. but convenience for the sake of comfort. Yeah. Um, especially in America. You don't and have to so go anywhere like, or do anything. Yeah. It can all just be done for you and, so and come I, to you. So when we hear that word good, I think our brains just default to comfort because mm -hmm. comfort is good. Right. For us. Like, it's, right. you know, but. Yeah. Work together things for the good those who love him i think the which i'm like and that because then it's like do you want a comfortable life or do you want the lord working all things together for the good of those who love him i'm like that that i want that i want that <laughs> I, I would like that to be comfortable though mm. that's yeah. how i feel and that's yeah. very convicting to just be like no like i wouldn't i wouldn't teach my kids that they're going to have this easygoing comfortable life and we have Again, to have that you grow up thinking you're going to live in camp easy your whole life. Yep. And then you're ticked anytime you got to cross camp. Yeah. We have to have that conversation <laughs> like basically every day during school when we do yeah. school is like, like you don't know this because you've never learned it. It's yeah. hard to learn stuff. Right. Dad. Um, <laughs> and you know, and I'm still learning that lesson. It's hard to learn things. And mm. yeah, that's really good, Brooke. I really so, appreciate that. Anyway, I think, those are my thoughts slash this other lady's thoughts on that. <laughs> Which uh, then I gave my thoughts slash this book that I've never read thoughts on mm. that. Nice. Um, okay. What are we at? We're at 20 minutes. Are you going to give me a list of things? or I t I totally am. Un okay. Yeah, sure. I think you, I feel like you can come okay. up with stuff. Uh, so, so I've seen this a few places. I thought it'd be fun I'm to nervous. do with Brooke. I'm so nervous. And then I, and the Ghost Runners did it. So I was like, yeah, okay, if they're doing it, I'm going to do it. If, if it's good enough for Brad and Jake, it's good enough for Brooke and TJ. Okay. Um, so I am going to give you five, uh, oh man, now I'm struggling. Five food dishes. I got to write these down or else I'm never going to Okay. Remember. Well, use my phone. Okay. Use the notes or text or something. Five food dishes okay. and you have to rank them blindly. Okay. Meaning you have Me to- Me personally, yep. what I believe. You got to put them it's in- It's my list. It's your list. You got to put them in one through five, but- But I don't know what's coming You don't next. know what's coming. You're just going to read them yep. randomly? Yep. 
Oh, gosh. Okay. Right, are you ready? Okay. Number one, cinnamon buns. And again, this is like the best version of yeah, the Yeah, the best thing. version of everything. Yeah. It's not, it's not trash cinnamon No, buns. really good cinnamon buns. But I don't know what else you're going to give me. One it's just five. food. The category is just, just food. food. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, <laughs> As it comes to my head, too. <laughs> oh, even worse. Um, I'm going to say four. Okay. Number two. You say they rank four. Well, it's Ta your number two. You're just, you yeah. say next. Next. Okay. Tacos. One. Ooh. Um, next, uh, a, a burger, like a, a the, really the best burger. burger. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, ha, I'm torn. Uh, I'm going to say three. I think that ranks higher than a cinnamon bun for me. Okay. Well, I'm but I'm worried to... you're not going to give me a lower option to slide in to slot five. Okay. All right. Number. Tacos are one. Next. <laughs> you got tacos at one. Cinnamon buns at, at four. Four. Burgers at, at three. three. Okay. okay. I feel good about that. I feel good okay. about that. Uh, next one. Coffee ice cream. <gasps> Can I put toppings on it? Or is it just yeah, no, coffee ice cream? It's like the best version of your coffee ice cream sundae. Um. What slots left? Two and five. Oh, gosh. I don't know what you're going to throw at me, but I might put that at number two. Okay. If I could eat my favorite taco and then turn around and eat coffee ice cream with Oreos and peanut butter and feel okay for the rest of my life, okay, what 100%, am I, I would do that. What am I putting last, I guess? I guess I'm picking. Kind of. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> this is weird. To put it anywhere else. <laughs> right, but you should have had your five ready had to my... go, and then you should have read them... I guess maybe kind of thinking, knowing maybe what I would pick. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, what do you right. what do you uh, slide into slot five for me? I don't know. Uh, sushi. Yeah, that that would have taken slot five. That's accurate. Okay, that was accurate. Fun little game. We're, the, the ideal thing to do it with. I it. think it'd be more fun to do where you have pre-made your top five list. Okay, and you're trying like to match. Like we used to do when we shot photos, okay. and we yeah, would yeah, tell yeah. people to match their answers to yep. make them laugh. Got it. And then Got it. and then you read them to me. Maybe blindly or not. I say, I guess still blindly would be better. Yeah. So I'm giving so you're you. You're like, where did I rank tacos? But I don't know what else is on the list. And so I'm like, I think you ranked them three. That's or good. Whatever. It's like almost like a marriage test. Yeah. Called, what's the, what's Tom's? No, no you're boo. boo. No, you're boo. <laughs> we, we should have that segment. <laughs> I love that. I love Out that. Out of those same five things, now that it's not blind anymore, but. Would you rank them differently than that? You'd probably done, move the coffee. I would have done tacos, burgers, sushi, cinnamon buns, coffee ice cream at yeah. the bottom. We matched on number four, though. Wow. Cinnamon buns are on our list because I said to you yesterday, I'm ready to conquer something new in food. Yeah. Why don't you tell people about that? And I think, so I like to cook. Um, Very good at it. I do enjoy it. I go in phases where I'm like, I don't ever want to make dinner again. We and like, a, we, we eat cereal and like, don't think that I cook Every meal, yeah. all the time, because there's just times where I don't. But there's I'm not. There's a dream. We have a dream. We do. We have a Brooke, lot of dreams. We do. Um, for Brooke to make a cookbook, mm. specifically around like the dishes of Moms on Maui. Mm. That's a dream. Well, we've been asked it many times. Yeah. And so now I'm like, maybe that's something I could do. Or awesome. I could just blog them. Here's a totally separate side question. Ooh, side question. Side question. Sidebar. Answer on the Facebook page. Um, does anybody read blogs anymore? I saw a different person post this question. They like Was they it the were, lady sitting on the stool? Maybe. They were posing <laughs> the question. And then it made me think, do I read blogs anymore? And then I realized I read a few, okay. but I only read them because I get their emails. Okay. Like I get their emails where they like round up all their stuff. And mm -hmm. then I'll click from that over to read okay. certain posts or certain recipes. But you and I were having a conversation. Well, I was mostly talking and you were kind of listening about like Accurate. the algorithm's crap. You it know, is. social media is not what it was a decade ago, True. which is fine. Everything changes. It Everything doesn't have changes. to stay the same. Comfort. But it would be really nice if it had stayed the same. It would be really nice if it would just the be people great. that said, hey, I want to follow this company and find out their, their updates. Actually saw, saw those updates. That would be nice. It would just wouldn't be great. it be nice. Yes. 
I would love that for I you. I would love that for all of us. And I would love that for but all anyway, of us. But anyway, so I said to you, I said, I wonder <laughs> if anybody, sorry, I'm drinking my coffee while talking, which is always makes me burp. Drinking anything and talking makes me burp. Super science. Science. So I believe in science. I was wondering, does anybody actually read blogs anymore? Because it feels like, I don't know, maybe we're like circling all the way back to yeah. like where everybody owns their own space and it's not so much like on a platform and it's more like, where's all your content and where's all your stuff? Yeah. And anyway, not the point of what I was saying. I was talking about food. Yeah. Your new challenges. And how I think people would be inspired by I, this. I unintentionally, I can't say I really would like set out to do this, except maybe with Rice Krispies treats. I was like, I, I want to feel comfortable making certain dishes. Well, like I want to, cause you, I'll back up even further. Sure. What you talk about at home joy, which the deal is still going on. Start today, get home joy at 50% off. The code is start today. Start today. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you talk about in home joy, having brainless crowd pleasers. Yeah. Um, where there are meals that you can make without really thinking about, they come yeah. to second nature. Like the brainless crowd pleaser I can make is bacon and eggs. Yeah. I can do it without yeah. really thinking about it. I can do it anytime. Right. Um, th that's the start and the end of my list. Um, <laughs> you, on, on the other hand, have a very wide a variety of things. I can make a lot of, of things. things. I can probably make more things brainless than I can make children crowd pleasers. Right. I can make a lot of grown up crowd pleasers. Yeah. But finding the stuff your kids like is a little and bit And so it's trickier. like you've just perfected these things by doing them over and over again. And now they've come become second nature. And then you talk about yes. that in the course. And then you talk about like how to stock your pantry yeah. and kitchen to your do that kind of stuff. Your life set up to make those things. Yeah. not Which is awesome. Not, I don't know, so, so beef stew that nobody likes and you never <laughs> want to make. Like, yeah. why are you buying that stuff every week? Yeah. Why are you laying like that? Um, <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, so I just feel like uh, unintentionally... I worked on all these, I made all these meals over and over and over again because they were, they were crowd pleasers and they were brainless. And then I started serving them at Moms on Maui in addition to some other things that I know grownups like to eat that maybe kids don't. Yep. Certain salads, certain things that are like, kids are like kids meh about. And or husbands. And um, things that I want to eat that I'm like, this will be fun. Let's yeah. eat all my favorite food for a week. Yes, please. And then I get to do it like again. I love it. Anyway, I feel really good about that list of stuff. And I added a few things to it in April that I didn't try last, yep. that I didn't add in in October. And I definitely have some things I'm going to add in this July that will be new for that crew. But it got me thinking, I, I'm like almost caught up adding in my things yeah. I've gotten better at to my mom's on Maui meals. And so I was like, I need some new things. So I, some new things I want to start making at home and feeling. And this is the, this is the. Th these are things that are going to be on the future brainless crowd pleaser list. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. the kids love them. Yes. I love it. So I'm stoked. Um, which can I say, this is, this home. is a very TJ thing to do. It's kind of gamified a little you, bit. A little bit. You've yeah. challenged yourself. Yeah. Well, I, I, I challenge myself a lot, but I don't tell anybody. Right. But you told me and now you're telling people on the internet. I'm like kind of. I, maybe because I feel pretty confident in food. I'm just so excited for you. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Um, acai bowls. There's Love a it. place we go here. And I'm not saying I'll take off the menu going yeah, because there's specific there's, to Moms on Maui because yeah. it's really fun. People can get different ones. But I watch them make them. And yeah. I think I literally have all these ingredients at home. Yeah. I think I could conquer this. Yep. And then we could eat them whenever we want. And we could be a little more like, um, we could change it a little more for make the kids. Make like an acai uh, bowl bar. Exactly, I which sounds that. like a ton of fun. Um, so I actually feel like that one's probably the, the easiest because I have made yeah. them at home before. I have a really good granola recipe, already pumped and excited about that. Been using that one for years. You just need to get the... I need to get the texture of the base right, which I don't quite know yet okay. how, how exactly that works. I've yep. watched how they do it. Okay. I don't know if there's a method to their madness. And they're like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, you got to start on, stand on the other side of the counter, please. Right, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, sorry, I just... <laughs> <laughs> um, Daisy, take this phone, go back there. And yeah. No, you can watch from the counter. I don't <laughs> understand why. Here's the thing. They take their little packets of acai or acai or Which however I, you say you it. think they buy from Costco. Oh, literally. It's the same brand. Okay. I see them. Yep. Or you could buy them lots of places, but it's that starts with an S. It's like that little Amazon looking. Swamini, Quabity, Sam, Samson. Sam, anyway, whatever. But then they, they take a bunch of packs out. Sasai. Sasai bowls. <laughs> they put them in their blender under the sink of running hot water. And I'm like, why? 
This is what I need to know. Okay. It's almost like they're thawing it a little bit. I don't know. Okay. Nobody's here for this content. Sorry. <laughs> I think everyone is. Um, I certainly am. Okay. I want to learn how to do those. Cinnamon buns, which is why cinnamon buns yes. are on the mind, on our minds. I used to make them a while ago. Then I went gluten free. Yep. Haven't touched them since. Right. Is there gluten in cinnamon buns? Oh yeah. Like a <laughs> lot. Now, are there gluten free recipes online? I-, I would like to know how to make a gluten free one because yep. I do think it's really kind and hospitable and all the things when somebody really truly does have an allergy like that to not yeah. leave them out all the time. Right. So I want to know how to make my version gluten free. But I also think that if I ordered the right flour. Yeah. Like the Italians or like the stuff yep. made in Europe that doesn't have all the crap in it that yep. ours does here, that so. I would probably be okay eating because I don't have an actual allergy. Right. Like I don't have, um, what you call it? The celiacs. Yes. Like I'm just intolerant. Don't feel great yeah. if I eat a lot of it. Anyway. Bubble guts. Yes. Lots of things. Bubbling lots of places. <laughs> <laughs> and so acai bowls, cinnamon buns, um, some sort of like, this is, this is a big deal because I already feel like I'm pretty good at this, but some sort of loaded nacho pile. Ooh. You know, when you go to a restaurant yeah. and you're like, I'm going to order nachos. Well, they don't just bring you like a cookie sheet of nachos like we do it yep. where they're all flat and there's nothing doubled up. No, yep. it's like a, it's like a yeah. pile. And I don't feel like I quite, I don't really understand the cheese I also scenario. feel like most piles aren't very good. Right. It's like soggy. And so that, Correct. yeah, there has so to be I'm a like, way how, to... To start, what's my version of maybe that? Maybe it's like you start separate and then you pile as they cook. I cook them all separately yeah. and then I pile for like not as presentation, but like as delivery. Delivery. There were four things on my list. Do you remember what the four things were? It'll come back to me. Yeah. But anyway, that's why we've been thinking about cinnamon buns. <laughs> I almost made some this morning. <laughs> but anyway. yeah, you guys probably didn't know that this week on the Walk Along podcast, we're going to talk about all those yeah. foods so much. Um, so the thing I actually wanted to talk about, and I'm going to be brief because I kind of said all I needed to say at the beginning um, <laughs> is interesting. I made this video last week. So I'm trying to make these videos on Friday that are like kind of just like TJ's thoughts slash encouragement slash challenge with footage. Uh, I played one last week, which was like be a modern rebel. Uh, there's one about like pursuing your kids into adulthood. Uh, there's one about training your kids. And then I made one this past week about the father daughter dance. So we mm-hmm. went, so it's the third, it's the fourth one that, that Jeff has had, uh, that Jeff Bethke's had at his house. This is the third one we've gone to, mm-hmm. which is crazy when you look at the photos and you're like, they were babies yeah. when we first started going. <laughs> and so it's father-daughter dance, real sweet. They get dresses. Brooke does their makeup. It's mm-hmm. just this real sweet moment. And so I made this video kind of talking about how like, um, you know, it's a weird time in culture for men and for dads. And honestly, it's a weird time in culture for like men who have morals, yeah. men who believe in truth, mm-hmm. men who like want to stand firm in the faith. Mm. And I don't know if the church is doing a great job at like, it, the church seems to be in a weird position right now where they've like let too many nuts into the nut house. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, it's similar to when I talk about like, um, like Hollywood, like yeah. Hollywood is infected by activists. And because of that, not people who want to make films, not, not the, yeah. and because of that, all the creative filmmakers like are outnumbered. And so you get crap movies over and over and over again. And so it's just like, I feel like a similar thing has happened just like on culture but as not a if. whole. Did we talk about yeah, that on here? Yeah. No, we haven't. Go see if it was if, fantastic. Yeah, great movie. John Krasinski, writer and director, really sweet movie. So yeah. creative. Original idea. Just it's, like fun yeah, and playful. Kind of like Wonka Paddington vibe to yes, me. Yes, very much so. Um, I, that's the same director. You know? Yeah. Okay. Not as this one, but. Um, anyway, so like, I just feel like it's a weird time culturally for men. Um, yeah. they're, they're, the, they're the enemy. Yeah. In like all things. Right. And it, like that, again, I've talked about this stupid thing on TikTok where it's like, would you rather be in a forest with a bear or a man? And all these women say a bear. And I'm like, a bear would literally eat your face off. <laughs> <laughs> like literally and figuratively destroy, you. destroy you. Yeah. And a man would probably try his best to help you out of that forest. A good one. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, it was funny, like as that was going viral, there was this clip of ducks landing in a pond in a zoo where a bear was like a zoo, a bear's enclosure mm-hmm. in a zoo. And these ducks landed in the pond and he ate them. Yeah. Like whole. Just- <laughs> 
<laughs> and so it's just like, yeah, if a duck lands next to me, mm-hmm. whether I'm in an enclosure or not, yeah. I'm not going to eat it whole. Well, I was telling you about that video of that guy who swims with the sharks. Remember? And how like sharks, again, not all sharks, but the ones he was swimming with, the tiger sharks, they can be redirected. Like you can stick your arm out or your stick out. Yeah. Yeah. When, and you can literally change their direction and they won't, if you do that enough times, they'll give up. I'm like, you can't redirect a bear. No. You can't be like, yeah, you stick let me your push arm out. He now has eaten all direction. your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, I just feel like it's such a weird time. And so I, I made this video and I got this one comment that really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I actually, I, I, I'm, I, I mostly delete comments like that because I'm just like, this isn't your platform. This isn't your page. Yeah. So I don't. Right. Need to leave this Go up. start a blog. People yeah. might read it. Yeah, people might read it if they, did they get the email about it. Um, it was just like, this is so weird. This is so dumb. This is so made up. Men aren't like... Yeah, who, the comment who, was like, stop who's making say- things up yeah. and saying that men aren't needed or something like that. Yeah, who's saying that? And and so like to me, <laughs> I was just like, who's saying that? Yeah. All of culture is saying that right yeah. now. You know, one, like first from a statistical standpoint single motherhood has like doubled in the last 40 years. Yeah. So there is something that's happening on a, on a, like a large scale level where dads aren't around. Yeah. So that's like one, my point is proven, <laughs> but then two, I think something that happened is happening much more subtly and not so subtly for like me, the previous 30 years and not so subtly for the last 10 mm-hmm. was like the depiction of men in TV shows, movies, commercials, as bumbling buffoons. Yeah. Uh, incapable of doing anything. Yeah. I mean, Homer Simpson is sort of like the the <laughs> epitome of that. You know, it's yeah. done in a cartoon, so it's like it, it, there, there's, there's a point there. But like, you know, you watch any show nowadays, it is it is a man who needs, like even if you look at like from like a, per, like all of our favorite heroes, like let's look, let's go to Star Wars, for example. Star Wars you know, the hero was Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. In the newest ones, the hero is Ray Palpatine. Mm-hmm. And Luke is like this bumbling old man that lives on an island that's like... Yeah, it's like a cur- shell of He's a like a curmudgeon. He's was. not a hero anymore. And you're just like... And then they did the same thing with Indiana Jones. And like, there's yeah. this element of culture telling men not to be men. And if you start talking about that, you're like, well, look at all the evil things that men have done. Yeah, I'm well aware that men can be jerks. I'm well aware that women can be jerks. Right. I'm well aware that humans as Humanity, a whole yeah. has a very sinful nature. Right. And that sin comes out in all sorts of ways. Yeah. And so I wanted to make this shirt. I said, stay alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men and be strong. Mm-hmm. And I, I wanted to do it because one, I'm just like so tired of like good men being like j- this just broad brush painting over all men as evil. And what it does to us men, as we, as we try to be good dads and husbands and leaders of our family is like, it starts. And I've felt this in a very real way. It starts to make us doubt ourselves. Like yeah. we yeah. start to think maybe they're right. Maybe I am not good for my family. Maybe I'm not mm-hmm. good for my wife. Maybe I'm not good for my kids. Maybe I should just be a second mom yeah. and not a true dad. Right. And so I, I just like, I want to shirt that one is from the word of God. Mm-hmm. And two, just like encourages men to be good men, be good righteous mm-hmm. men of God that love your family well, that love your wife well, that lead them well into the good and good, maybe not comfortable mm-hmm. things that God has for you. And so I just like, again, there's not really a point to that. Uh, like there's no like overarching, like here's how to do that. Like I'm not going to give you, uh, yeah, well, we can talk about that. Yeah. I'm still, I here's still how to do that. <laughs> In my hands. But I yeah. just feel like, man, what a weird time to be alive and what a weird like mm-hmm. cultural moment for men. And uh, again, I just like would encourage you that the, the, the 10 guys that listen, mm-hmm. the five, the four that are coming to dads on Maui is like, <laughs> you are so needed and yes. so necessary. And, and there's this element of manhood that you like. And again, I felt this, I felt this in the last month or two months or three months or six months. Um, that just like, once things start going poorly, like, like I feel this, like I'm going to, no one wants to hang out with me. Mm. I should be alone. I should just be by myself because no one wants to be around me. Mm. And like, that is a lie from the pit of hell. Yeah. 
And, and, and we need other men around us, surrounding us, encouraging us, being there for us. And so like, don't, don't isolate yourself. Yeah. Don't find yourself alone. Find other men to be around and, and be encouraged by. And that's what I was like, so encouraged by the dad and daughter dance is like, you know, I, I don't hang with these guys often. It's not like we're hanging every week, but like right. every time I see them, like the conversations there are much more like deep and reflective and good. And, and it's one of the reasons I'll miss Jeff so much when he moves is like, he kind of facilitates a lot of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I just like, I, I just, yeah, I just feel really passionate about it. I don't know if like I'm starting to lean that way in the stuff that I'm talking about more, yeah. but I just like, I just know how important it is and yeah. it's not something we, we, we should shy away. And from. I think there's the flip side, which again, I'm like, I don't have all the statistics in front of yeah. me. I don't necessarily have all my thoughts together, but we're like women, especially moms are more overwhelmed than ever. We are, I mean, there's literally, I, I can't remember what book I read that was literally talking about this. Actually, maybe it was Jeff Sutherbug. It might've been take back your family where he, it might've been that, where he talks about somebody I read talks about like, how there is so much pressure on the moms and the women to yeah. do it all because we're, we're not either supposed to expect or allowed to expect or, or like because it's so we, confusing. Because we've been told for the last 20, 30 years subconsciously through through media and entertainment yeah. that men are bumbling idiots. Right, like so I'm acts, supposed to figure it yeah. all out, but I'm it, also supposed to you know, ask like, for help, but I'm... I like, feel like like Modern Family, the few episodes I've seen of that, like like Phil is that bumbling yeah. idiot dad. Like now, he's, again, as a sitcom, yeah. and so it's funny. But there's so but it's much. It's not funny if that was your real life. Yeah, it's actually super depressing. Yeah, like there's this, there's an episode I remember where like he has to get a birthday gift, and the mom's describing all the things that can't be, mm -hmm. and then by the end of the description, she's like, "I'll just get it," yeah. and it's like women like if you've absorbed that type of entertainment for 20 years yeah that is definitely going to have an effect on you and the way that you interact with your husband yeah. and there definitely needs to be there's two things that i think need to happen in a lot of marriages where this is an issue one men need to sort of like put their foot down a little bit like step up and take charge in a good way yeah not in like a dick way not in like a <laughs> right like a an aggressive way but in like a good way that's like uh, you married me because you you thought I could protect you and provide for you. Yeah. Let me do that. Right. Like there is something so beautiful and holy yeah. and amazing in that. Yeah. And then two, I think a lot of women need to let go of control. Oh, hundred percent. You know, easier said than done. Easier said than done. But then but, while those two things are happening, yeah. I think there needs to be like an overly, like an, like an obnoxious amount of communication yeah. about those two things happening. I feel like we went through that probably for the last four years mm -hmm. and are honestly still going through it. Like we still yeah. talk about those things all the time. And, and, but that helps us understand our roles. It helps us trust each other. I think that there's a lot of issues with trust when it comes to this sort of dynamic. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of like, well, you can't say that because like the cultural zeitgeist says you can't say that <laughs> now. And it's like, let your, conversation between man and wife be something that like is unaffected by what culture is saying. Mm. Like let, let you again, easier said than done, easier said than done, but like let you two speak truth to each other in love, mm -hmm. full of grace and allow that to power your marriage. Yeah. Not the bull crap that's being spoken everywhere else. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fired up. Uh, anyway, in my hands is fighting shadows, which is Jeff Bethke's and John Tyson's new book. Overcoming Seven Lies That Keep Men From Becoming Fully Alive. I have read the introduction and the first chapter. And I, and I was like, I would like to send a copy of this to every man that I know. Be not because I'm like, you need, like, this, you like, need this, you need to read this. But because like, but honestly, you holy do. cow, yeah. like this is what I, I assume they are all feeling. Yeah. And this like, you know, yeah. This underlying that like you are not allowed to be who you are. No. And men feel a ton of shame and confusion yeah. over what they're supposed to be or not supposed to be. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. And so, and here's a, here's a quote that I, hold on, let me find it. You're good. Um, I feel like that book and that t-shirt would be a fantastic Father's Day gift, which yes. again, the t-shirt will not be there in time, but you can say, I have ordered it for you. Here's what it looks like. It is coming. Now, now this is specifically for dads. This is a Meg Meeker quote who wrote the book, Strong Father, Strong Daughter. She has a couple other books. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was like kind of, 
I've read that book. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. If you have daughters, a must read strong fathers, strong daughters. My only disclaimer is like the examples are way off because it was written in like the she's early 2000s. DVDs she's like, CD life yeah, she's like, like watch out for magazines they might read. And I'm just yeah. like, I, okay. I don't think I know. June mag- has asked me, she would like to subscribe to a magazine with some of her money <laughs> okay. so she can make collages. Yes. Like, um, let's go to a thrift should store we start a magazine that is literally made for hey collages. sharks yeah. hey sharks hey sharks i'm seeking a million dollars for one percent stake one percent stake in a monthly magazine that is literally just designed yeah so your kids can cut out the pieces for collages love it who's in it's called barbara it's called collages cut it <laughs> No. Cut it out. Wow. Um, but anyways, this is a quote that I really love. Your daughters need the best of you, mm. the best of who you are, your strength, your courage, your intelligence, and your fearlessness. She needs your empathy, assertiveness, and self-confidence. She needs you. And I just 100%. feel like oh, so many men, myself included, I'll throw myself in this boat, that just like self-confidence is like almost unallowed. Like you're right. not allowed to have it anymore. Because then you're being a yeah. If you're, it's, if, uh, it's you're this promoting the patriarchy yes, and blah right. blah blah. Well, I, I think we follow a patriarchal god, so I'm just gonna throw out that that out there <laughs> for some spice, um, you know. And and so I just think like, man, what a weird time. But like, I think that there are people, Jeff and John being one of them, and hopefully two me, like <laughs> two of them. Yeah, they have become one. No. Um, <laughs> Uh, in this book. And and I'm hoping that dads on Maui has a similar vibe that Mm -hmm. like we can talk about those true, real deep things all while having a ton of fun. Um, But the shirt for me was just like, to me, it feels like a, a stake in the ground. Yeah. Like we don't do a lot of guy shirts. Right. Um, Because our guy audience isn't huge. But like you said, a lot of our ladies have husbands. husbands. Yeah. And so, yeah, I just, I don't know, maybe send them this podcast, maybe buy them this book. Maybe buying the shirt because I just feel like the next fifty years of mm-hmm. culture yeah. really like could go one of two ways. And I think if if strong, good men of God step up, it'll be better for our kids and our grandkids mm. culturally. Yeah. Um, and I think it's an it's necessary. It's yeah. needed, it's wanted. I think culture is kind of crying out for it and it's like weird psychotic sort of way. way. Yeah. Yeah, That like the void, there's been a void there and now that void is being filled with like nonsense and just chaos. And you know, there's that quote that's like good, um, hard men create good times or sorry. I don't know the quote. I'm going to butcher it. It's like strong men create good times which create weak men, which create hard times, which create strong men. Like, oh, like it's, it's like a, a this feed. cycle. And I feel like we're in this, this part of it. We're like, we're in these hard times because mm-hmm. there weren't strong men standing up for what is good and what is true and what is noble and what yeah. is just and all those things. So I don't know. That's my little yeah. shebang. It's <laughs> good. All right. Once again, those shirts will come out on Monday and they'll be available till Sunday. So Grab one for yourself. We'll use the code Sandcastle. Sure. Yeah. Code is Sandcastle for the podcast audience. That's good for 72 hours where the code we give away on Instagram and email is only good for 24 hours. So you want to use the, if you forget to shop day one. Also, if you do shop day one, there's a chance your item will, your items will get shipped. Yes. So like if you're, I got a text from someone the other day wearing the shirt. And I was like, Ooh, you got an early one because yeah. those have not shipped yet. Yeah. So like <laughs> we make them to order, but we have about 50 to a hundred already, made. already made. So yeah. we can have samples and we can hit the minimums and stuff like that. So like depending on the sizing and stuff that you order, there is a chance that yours could ship day one. If you an added perk to ordering early, yeah, even 100%. though it's a pre-order anyways. So thank you for that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for making us a part of your week. Okay. okay I, I love, love you. Bye. bye.